if you're a male candidate who's going to give an interview be it online or in person for Qatar Airways or any other Gulf airline and does not know what to wear how to appear for an interview with respect to grooming then this video is for you especially because all the things that I'm going to share with you is coming straight from Qatar Airways a grooming manual hi everyone my name is Twinkle and welcome back to my channel so as the title suggests already that this video is dedicated to male candidates who are aspiring to be a cabin crew member especially for Qatar Airways in this video I'm going to be talking about all the aspects like overall grooming which includes the hair the skin um, the kind of shoes the kind of outfit and all the things that you should do and the things that you should avoid at all times before you appear for an interview so in this video I will discuss all the things that will help you stand out in front of the recruiters and make an impression create that lasting impression in front of the recruiters so if you're a male candidate who's watching this video I would want you to have all your attention in this video from now on and even have a pen and a paper before I get into the main video so starting from the most basic thing before you even start to get ready for your interview is to definitely take a shower so that you're nice and clean and hygienic and also wash your hair thoroughly so they are fresh and clean so that they also get styled easily and they appear to be very uh, nicely done for that after that you can what you can do is you can uh, either blow dry your hair or air dry if you don't have a blow dryer if you're air drying then make sure that you put whatever product to set your hair just before your hair is completely dried now if you talk about hair uh, i would also recommend you to get a fresh haircut a day or a two prior to your interview talking about this styling the hair should be styled away from the face um, it should not go here and there it should be well done make sure that the product you're using is done used to the minimum um, what they're not looking at is a very glossy or a wet look they prefer matte finish that's how it is and it looks more professional so use minimum of product and um, talking about the hair color if you have any hair color make sure that it looks natural it is close to your shade like one shade um, lighter or one shade darker and it is properly maintained your roots are not visible like the color is properly maintained if you have it um, if you have gray hair definitely go ahead and color them also in addition to the hair color if you have any highlights or low lights or very uh, indifferent kind of a color that is not uh, allowed in Qatar Airways or any other Gulf Airlines or for that matter any airline so refrain from that uh, spiky hair over gelled hair gray hair um, very close cut uh, hair cuts like crew cuts when your scalp is visible that is also strictly not allowed another thing people or candidates who are bald are not acceptable who have shaved their head completely is not acceptable now coming on to the face your skin should be a nice and clean well moisturized hydrated you should be clean shaved there should be no excessive hair if you have please remove the hair the excess hair between the brows they should be uh, nicely done but they should look natural um, remove excessive hair if you have around the ears uh, that makes it look quite hygienic and professional if you want to keep mustache it is fine make sure it is trimmed and the mustache should be above the upper lip um, your sideburns should be trimmed basically the sideburns should be trimmed until the middle of the ear so that is the length that you should keep your sideburns before you're going for an interview make sure that your lips are not chapped and dry and flaky use a lip balm make sure that they are well moisturized um, also when you're shaving please be careful if you have any cuts or rashes or any allergies it is something that they are not looking at you might refrain from going this uh, this thing can actually hamper your interview so make sure you're very careful you do not have any allergies or rashes if you're using an aftershave uh, do that make sure that it is very mild and it does not have a very strong smell uh, moving on to the scars and marks and pimples if you have any sort of these conditions then I would uh, rather suggest you to skip that interview but do not conceal them because makeup is not allowed with cutter airways it is a strict no 
Why? Let me tell you a reason because irrespective of you concealing the scars or not, it is not allowed on duty. So there is no point concealing it and going. And secondly, you have to declare. It was okay to put makeup for an airline where it's okay to put makeup and fly. However, Qatar Airways is not allowed to put makeup. So there is no point putting makeup, concealing your scars or pimples or marks and then going for an interview because it's not allowed. And if they get to know it, which they will eventually, it is something that comes under being dishonest. And that is something that you not want to come across as in front of an interviewer. So face makeup, which is concealer, foundations and your BB creams are absolutely not allowed. What is allowed is a good moisturizer, good SPF and you're good to go with that. Moving on to the nails, make sure they are well moisturized. Your hands are well moisturized. Your nails are well trimmed. The cuticles, there are no flakiness. Uh, they're not yellow. They're not stained. So, you know, these things play a very important role. So, make sure they're very well maintained and taken care of before you go for an interview. Now, when all the visible parts are done, they're nicely uh, groomed. The next thing that I want to cover is personal hygiene at this point before I move into the attire and what you should be uh, wearing for an interview. So, when I talk about personal hygiene here, I've already mentioned that... Uh, you need to take a shower and wash your hair on the day of the interview so you're nice, clean, fresh and hygienic. Also, you need to brush your teeth and floss them thoroughly. Make sure you've, if you've done any, if you've had your breakfast or you've taken any meals, you do that after as well. Use a mouthwash to maintain a fresh breath or you can also use mints for that. Also, please use a deodorant or an antiperspirant. Um, if you are not sure of the difference, an antiperspirant helps uh, with odor and bacteria. Uh, and you know, it kind of controls the sweat. However, the duo will make sure that the sweat, I mean the, the fragrance from your body is fresh. So either you can use one of them or both of them. That is completely fine. But use them for uh, your personal hygiene. It is very, very important. Mm. also if you're going for an, a perfume make sure it is a light it's not that strong because you don't want to uh, you know give headaches to people around you or for that matter even the interviewer so use a light perfume apart from that uh, i would also recommend you to wear um, an undershirt you might also call it a vest sort of a thing but i will what i will advise you is to wear an undershirt uh, like a t-shirt until which has sleeves that's that is what is the standard of Qatar Airways. Moving on to the clothes that you're going to wear for an interview has to be, has to be proper business formals, it, which is a suit, a proper jacket suit. And make sure uh, the thumb rule is the jacket and the trousers should be matching, should be of the same color and should be similar. Like they are same, literally same. Um, please avoid uh, stripes or unusual patterns. Go for something simple, good fabric, good quality, which does not wrinkle very easily. Uh, talking about the colors, go for dark colors like black, navy blue, brown, dark brown or tan. These are the shades that work better. Again, use a color that suits you and your personality comes out to be even better in that shade. Talking about the fitting, make sure that the suit is well fitted, neither too loose nor too tight. Uh, is well structured, suits your body structure and your body type. Talking about the shirt that you choose to wear with your suit should be complementing your suit. So with dark uh, trousers and a jacket, Go for something light, the colors like pastels or uh, light green, light sky blue, lightest pinks, shades like these which complements the whole attire. Also make sure that the fabric is of good quality. It doesn't have to be really expensive but of good quality, preferably cotton. Um, make sure that it is well ironed. In fact, even your jacket and suit, everything is well ironed and well maintained. Um, make sure that the shirt that you're choosing is a proper business formal shirt. It is uh, the length should not be. I'm not talking about those uh, slim shirts which are short because it is again difficult to tuck them in and you don't want your shirts to come out. So choose a normal shirt, a business formal shirt. Another important thing is that you button up all your buttons. Like it should be done until your collar. Anyway, you have to wear a tie. 
talking about the tie tie is mandatory for an interview make sure that the tie is very simple nothing too flashy no cartoons no unusual patterns or designs something which uh, suits your whole attire which complements the whole suit um the length again of the tie should be until your waist um do not go for some those unusual leather ties or uh, the slim ties um something very flashy something very unusual scarves bow ties all of these things are not allowed go for something very simple very classy and good quality which is tied in a nice clean and tidy windsor knot for all of those who do not know what is a windsor knot i will leave a picture here you can refer to that that is how a windsor knot looks and this is the knot that you're going to do on your uh, the day of your interview so talking about the trousers your trousers should be first thing matching with the jacket and should be in complements with the whole suit and the color should be same as of the jacket the trousers should be well ironed well maintained the length of the trouser approximately should be about around 2 cm above the heel of your shoe should not be shorter or longer than that so make sure that you uh, have that kind of length maintained the trousers should be well kept there should not be any stains should be well ironed also the trousers should be of the straight fit and not of a slim fit one more very important thing the pockets of your trousers when you are going for an interview should be empty uh, please have it empty carry a bag if you want to a professional bag do not uh, refrain from you know using those uh, super heavy super full wallets and you know when you put in your pockets they look very embarrassing and very weird very very unprofessional when you put them in your pockets and it looks like another butt from your trousers so avoid that kind of a situation in an interview so refrain from putting a lot of things like phones and mobiles in your pockets the next thing is the belt shoes and the socks now why i'm talking about the these three things together is these three things should be very much in complements with each other preferably of the same color and if you ask me i would tell you go for black color easy and goes with the every kind of suit so either it should be black tan or uh, brown but uh, should be of the same color preferably belt should be simple leather belt black in color or whatever color you choose i would prefer that you take a black color um the buckle should be facing forward uh talking about the buckle no flashy buckles no logos no extraordinarily designs or branded stuff something very simple should work also make sure the belt is in good condition and good quality and it's not cracked or frayed it looks well maintained and uh to be worn in an interview especially um talking about the socks your socks should be plain black in color um without any designs or patterns very simple um refrain from wearing those ankle length or the short socks use the ones which are normal full length because when you're sitting we don't want to have a skin show so taking that thing into consideration wear the normal length of socks also make sure that your socks is uh, washed is a new pair a fresh pair we don't want to have smelly bad situations in front of a recruiter so please use a fresh pair of socks proper business style shoes uh, should be closed uh, go for the ones which have laces do not go for the ones which are open and do not have laces the laces are well tied in proper knots um do not just make any messy shit out of it because it does not look professional um the colors again should be dark which i already discussed in complements with your belt and socks and also which complements your suit the whole style of it the shoes should be well polished um new should not be cracked of good quality and well maintained also remember shoes are very important with respect to your personality they reflect what kind of a person you are so with shoes you don't want to take a chance if you think you need a new pair you want to invest i would suggest this is the time and this is the thing that you should invest in also very important make sure that the shoes uh, are of your correct fit they are neither too tight or not too loose um a very big no to sport shoes uh, sneakers or the shoes with heels extremely pointed or very much uh, you know those pointed shapes a big no to them these are the kind of shoes that you would want to wear in an interview so i'm just putting it into uh, a picture just in case um, no logos um, no specific designs on it simple classic plain shoes business style formal shoes 
Now the next category that we are going to talk about is accessories. Accessories which are important and which are not important with respect to an interview. So in accessory we will be discussing about uh, rings, we will be talking about glasses, um, watch, bags and also things that you should not be wearing. So let's talk about the jewelry part first like the rings or chains. So if you are wearing a ring, please restrict yourself to wearing just one ring per hand. Um, no bracelets, no chains, no earrings, no piercings. Clear and cut. There is a, it's a big no, no. So even if you're wearing a chain, if you want, please remove it. Otherwise, hide it properly in your business attire. It should not be visible. The only thing which is allowed is uh, rings. And with respect to being professional also, one ring per hand is fine. Uh, something which is simple, not overly done. If it's not required, remove it. Moving on to the watch. This is something which is mandatory and is very important with respect to the personality of a cabin crew and also of the use. So if you talk about the use, make sure it is working. Uh, talking about the size of the watch, it should be a medium size, neither too big. The dial should be medium. Um, the colors should be preferably silver or black. It can be either a metal watch or a watch with a strap. The colors again would be the same. Uh, please avoid something which has a lot of stones or designs or logos. Wear something very simple and classic. No Fitbits, no G-Shocks, no overly done watches. Very plain and simple designs would work the best. Talking about this, spectacles. Now, it is allowed for you to wear spectacles or glasses in an interview if you wish to. Um, but choose very simple and plain designs uh, with respect to the style of the frame or the color of the frame. The style uh, do not have those turtle, uh, you know, the, the cat style or the cat eyed kind of frames, the round ones, the Harry Potter looking ones. No, don't go for that ones. Just go for simple square. I will put like pictures, something like these. Uh, you can go for these kind of spectacles if you want or uh, if you choose to wear lenses go for the transparent ones don't choose to go for colored lenses another very important thing that acts as a part of your attire is a bag now it is absolutely up to your wish if you want to carry a bag if you want to please carry a bag which is laptop style or a briefcase style don't actually carry a briefcase but a laptop style bag that looks professional talking about the colors should be black brown on any dark colors very simple and plain designs no logos no keychains no um you know things hanging from those bags it is not professional refrain from doing that uh, make sure your bag is not overly stuffed or uh, dirty make sure it's clean and do not take a backpack with you to an interview and you're good to go so now we talk about the skin we've talked about the kind of hair the kind of clothes shoes accessories things which are allowed not allowed even the personal hygiene we have covered absolutely everything that is required for you to crack the interview for Qatar Airways or any other Gulf airline for that matter. However, one thing that is absolutely necessary for you to wear and is a part of your personality is smile. To wear a genuine smile and a friendly smile on your face, irrespective of whether or not you're facing a recruiter or someone who is uh, related to the company. It can be the person who you are sitting next to, the hotel staff or your, the person you have met before. Please smile to everyone. Make sure it's a general smile. Smile makes a big difference and it is the most important thing of your attire which you can wear. So please smile. So that is all for this video. I hope that I've covered everything that you wanted to know uh, with respect to the male uh, grooming guide. Um, I hope that this was useful for you and you will follow all these uh, tips and tricks when you're getting ready for next interview. And if there is anything that you want to know apart from this, you can put it down in the comment section below. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social media handles. And I will see you in my next one. Till then, take care and bye-bye.